Yo, what's up, guys? Uh, so I picked up this uh, MSI GE76 Raider uh, at Costco. Uh, it was $300 off, so I had to pull the trigger on it. Uh, it's a gaming laptop, for those who may not know. It comes with a i7 and GeForce RTX 3060. I mean, it's a really good system. I'm really happy with it. Uh, there was one thing that was doing, which was annoying, was uh, the RGB keyboard uh, would not stop flashing rainbow. And although I don't really game with that keyboard that it brings anyway, I use a, a Logitech uh, G910 for that. Um, it was still annoying because uh, I do use it for a little bit of uh, on-the-go uh, coding or uh, other stuff that I do, uh, network management and stuff like that. So it was a little bit annoying with the constant rainbow wave. And every time I would try to change or, or uh, change the settings on it through the Steel Series GG, um, it would work one minute or it wouldn't work. Like it wouldn't recognize the the keyboard at times um or it would just switch back i called up msi support and that was a nightmare uh i spoke to five different people there one of them was a supervisor i got five different answers the supervisor was the absolute worst one of them all uh that guy's name was daniel i don't know how he's a supervisor i mean just terrible experience the guy was like condescending as heck uh, nonetheless, he wanted me to return uh, the laptop, which I had just picked up from Costco about a week ago. I send it in for repairs or um, or just take it back to uh, the retailer, which in this case is Costco, as I said. However, what he doesn't understand is if you take enough products back to Costco, Costco will stop carrying those products from that vendor. Not that Daniel cares, because he obviously doesn't care about customer service or the company he works with. He's obviously he doesn't care about anything. However, anyway, so to let you know what I'm talking about, so here on the engine in the Steel Series, you can see I have the MSI Aurora, which is a little uh, LED strip that's on the front of the keyboard, and then the uh, RGB keyboard itself. Now, as you can see. They're both being recognized. If it didn't say recognize, if it wasn't connected, it would say underneath here, not connected and not connected. Okay. Now, like I said, I spoke to these people. Right now, I have it in red, by the way. You can pick whatever colors you want. It's pretty cool little software. I mean, honestly, the one from Logitech is better, but nonetheless, who cares? I also use the Logitech one, which is uh, what I really game with, and that works flawless. Um, so it was really annoying as hell, like I said. Um, what I noticed was, on my own here, not that these guys helped at all because they didn't. They just went, had me, you know, uh, the typical uninstall, reinstall, use an older version. None of that worked. Um, and then what was the other thing? Oh, yeah, and had me set the laptop to back to factory uh settings so a factory reset none of that worked um so anyway i got frustrated with them hung up the phone and uh, started looking at it myself and then i noticed that although i had the settings to not update the the software was updating on its own okay so it was updating from what it is right now which is um uh, 7.1.0 to a newer version which is 17.0.0 uh, however when you went to that new series that new one guess what it no longer worked and the keyboard would not be recognized and the aurora would no longer be recognized either and no matter what i tried it kept updating on its own so what i ended up doing was i simply went into uh, the windows firewall and i created a rule looked up the little program uh, in its path and you know stopped it from able to reach the outside world so it couldn't actually uh, update anymore once i did that this thing now works flawless so i can pick whatever colors i want you can select which keys are what colors. I mean, it's pretty. It's a pretty cool program. Um, 
the only bad thing was, again, having to deal with MSI and their terrible tech support. I mean, just horrendous, man. Never in my life have I seen people like that. Like, all of them, all of them were just terrible. But that, that Daniel guy was like the cream of the crop. I mean, just horrid, horrid person to deal with. Uh, however, so if you guys are running into the same problem, simply make sure that you're running uh, the 7.1.0. Uh, and even though you set it to uh, not update, it's probably going to update. So just set up a firewall rule to block the program from accessing the outside world. And voila, it works flawless and you won't have any more issues. So anyway, just wanted to share this because I noticed that it's uh, people are having a lot of problems on the forums with this. Uh, apparently, people are having all kinds of problems with uh, the RGB keyboard on, on this uh, particular, on not only this model, but other models that are using the same still series software. Um, so, you know, apparently these guys, these five guys at MSI don't even know their product, don't know the software that's on it, and don't care. So, but for you guys now, now you know how to resolve it. Simply go and create a firewall, block it, and make sure you're on the right one and you're good to go. Anyways, Arriba Dirty, have a fun.